Hey everybody, Milton Davis here. Um, happy Friday. Um, in the continuing our virtual vendors table, we we'll talk. I'm going to come here. I'm here today to talk to you about our weekend special, which is Angola Diaspora, the novella, and the comic book. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background on this, uh, many years ago, I always wanted to write a script for a martial arts uh, movie, specifically a martial arts movie that contained African martial arts. At the time, the only um, African martial arts I was aware of was Capoeira. So I came up with this idea of, of Angolo, uh, and I wrote this script down, but me not being a script writer, I got like about halfway through, and I just gave up on the project. Years later, I met Balogun Ojitade, who is a African martial arts specialist, and we were talking some one day, and I brought up the script. And he said, well, do you have it? And I said, yeah. He said, well, why don't you send it to me? So I sent it to him. Um, he took a look at it, and he got back in contact with me and said, well, how do you see this ending? So I described to him the rest of the story, how it should go. About two weeks later, he sent me a complete script, and it was great. I mean, he took my ideal, he finished it out, and he also added some, um, some, some of his own ideals to it, and it came out to be a really good script. So uh, we had the script, and we said, well, what do we do with it? And we said, oh, let's just set it aside for a while. So a few years after that, matter of fact, in 2014, we learned about the Urban Action, um, the Urban Action Showcase, which is a, uh, a uh, event that's set up to encourage um, the development of action movies by um, black people. And they had a screenplay contest, and we decided to enter. So we sent N'Golo in. Um, Balagoon actually went to New York for the event, and uh, to our pleasant surprise, we won. So then we had this award-winning script, and we sat on it for a little while longer. We shopped it out a little bit, you know, had a few people take a look at it, and we decided to say, hey, you know, let's make it a graphic novel. And at that point, we actually partnered with uh, Peter Daniel from Peta Studio out of Nigeria, and we launched a Kickstarter, and that's how we developed the Angolo Diaspora comic book. This is issue one. Um, af afterwards, we said, well, hey, let's, let's make it a novella as well. So that's sort of where the idea of the novella came from. So some of you guys are like, well, what is Angolo Diaspora? I'll read the, the description to you. It says, In a world where assassinations are legal, the Blood Men Guild is the best. But many have decided that they are too powerful and are hell-bent on destroying them. There will be no mercy and nowhere to run. So, hey, that's your teaser. So this weekend, um, this is our special, the N'Golo novella and the N'Golo diaspora comic book. If you're a novella reader, a novel reader, this is for you. If you're a comic book reader, this is for you. Or if you really like it, you can get both of them. So, hey, check it out. Um, you'll enjoy the reading. Um, just so you know, um, N'Golo Diaspora 2 will be coming out next year, 2020. We'll be launching a Kickstarter. In addition, we'll also be doing the, um, the N'Golo Diaspora Part 2 of the novella as well. So, check us out. The uh, virtual vending table is still open. You guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon. Peace.